All right, so that was my last flight of 2020. It's a pretty good one to end it on. There were a lot of submissions from you guys, some pretty inspiring stuff. I expected more kind of struggle stories than we got. So I'm happy so many of you found ways to make 2020 slightly less crappy. Anyway, enough about me, let's get going. Here it is, your 2020 flying. Hey Steven fans, it's David here and uh, look, we all know 2020 has been a rough year for the aviation industry. We don't need to beat the dead horse on that one. I had a lot of challenges myself. Started my PPL in January and had so many setbacks because of the coronavirus, but kept my head up, kept pushing, working really hard on my job as an avionics technician at my unit. And they were nice enough to bless me with a ride the F-16, as you can see here. Uh, I got to do nine more point one Gs, super awesome. Uh, keep your head up guys, 2021, and like Rain Waters would say, don't bring it weak. It really kicked off for me in March when I lost my job as a first officer flying the Dash 8 when my airline folded. So I went off and got my single pilot ratings back, relearned how to fly a single pilot IFR, I had some scary fun doing it. Um, got back into flying aerobatics in my little pits. I became a contract ferry pilot, moved some aeroplanes around, airliners, GA stuff, and I went to the sim, paid for it myself, got my ATPL skills test finally ticked. And now I'm back to doing social media stuff. Um, please give me a follow if you can. I'm Tango. And I'm Juliet. 2020 was... Was not the greatest year. My job evaporated. We have an airplane. Are we going to lose this thing that's so important and fulfilling to us? The community of aviation helped us stay in our hangar. The big benefit was... Thinking outside of the box, like places that we could still fly to, but be safe about it. When you're always up in the air, it just kind of gives you like time to reflect on like all the great things that happened this year. We got more time than ever to spend with each other. <laughs> yeah. And Enjoy time we would have never gotten together. Hey Flight Chops, if I'm being completely honest, I haven't gotten to fly at all this year because of, you know, the coronavirus restrictions and, and all of the craziness that's that's been going on. And so it was 2019 last time I, uh, I flew, but the real way that I was able to make it through this year was through praying and watching your videos. So I just would like to say thank you. I know you say it's about community, but the community, it wouldn't be here if there wasn't something to like bond around. And I think you're that, that thing. So thanks. Happy holidays, Steve, and all the Flight Jobs community out there on YouTube. 2020, boy, what a year I picked to do all of my flight training from private license all the way up to my group one instrument rating and my flight instructor rating just for the industry to completely take a downturn. But uh, through it all, I've stayed focused on where I wanna be after all this is done. Kept my chin high, pushed through the difficult times because I know that in the end, it's gonna be worth it. Hey, Steve, did the best we could with 2020, man. Glad it's over. <laughs> Spent a lot of time trying to find ways to get my instrument rating this year. I started actually by filming a lot of myself flying approaches and sending that to my instructors, getting their feedback, posting some on my channel. I uh, started doing some live streaming of me playing in the sim just to get some feedback and got a lot of help that way, which was really cool. Uh, from there, though, I'm pretty excited. You know, other than a handful of airplane issues, I've got a check ride scheduled for February 26th for my instrument rating. So have a good one, man.
Cloud Plain this year has really been such an incredible blessing, not only because it's given us a really great project to work on together, but also because it's been a nice way to stay positive with the sense of accomplishment that we get every time we finish a new component and really see it start to come together and a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel, thinking about the day that the build is eventually completed and the world's gone back to normal and we're able to go and visit all of the people we've missed this year and go out and explore the world again. Hey Steve, Josh from Las Vegas here. Last December, you inspired me to start building my own RV14. And by March, I had made it this far. When we started staying at home, it seemed like a blessing in disguise for home builders, but it actually ended up being pretty frustrating because work and school turned my house into all day Zoom. And after months of not flying anywhere and nowhere to go, I actually ended up selling my plane. The silver lining in that is that gave me a bit of time and money to start building again. So I have my horizontal spars out. I'm gonna remove that blue vinyl and start deburring. Happy 2021, safe flying and safe building. <laughs> this year, I decided to start making my childhood dream of becoming a pilot a reality by living in my car to put more money towards my PPL. Lockdown changed everything. It's been tricky to say the least. Having said that, I've been grateful for the extra time to do my PPL theory and for all the new friends I've made from the Instagram aviation community. The tough times will come. As long as we're breathing, we're still in the game. Adapt, stay hungry, live your dreams. My name is Frederick, and I would like to talk about the positive things that has happened to me this dark year. In January, I managed to get my private pilot license. And in June, I finally persuaded my best friend Robin to follow on a flight. He got completely hooked, and we decided in August to start the YouTube channel Swedish VFR to get us reasons to fly. Through this dark year, our flying has been a bright beacon for both of us. And those are the silver linings that I wish to remember of 2020. Hey, positive rate, gear up. So my 2020, I can't complain. In early March, I just finished taking the ground school to fly this L39 Albatross. And then COVID hit hard. So everything was delayed six months. But in uh, August and September, I was able to do the uh, training. Looking on the bright side, the price of jet fuel is cheap. Hi, Steve. Well, 2020, what can I say? COVID killed my music career. Uh, so as a musician, it's been particularly tough. Uh, so I've been concentrating on teaching French pilots English and I've made a big decision that in 2021 I'm going to train for my CPL because I want to become a flying instructor. I still managed to get some flying in in the Jodel. I flew upside down for the first time in my life in 2020. We were able to fly in between lockdowns and uh, we made the most of it. All the best for your projects and thanks for keeping our dreams alive. After the film industry in Los Angeles completely shut down and we were restricted from being around friends, I had to stay creative and make something. So I decided to start my own YouTube channel. And it's been super fun connecting with other pilots and aviation enthusiasts over our shared passion of aviation. Happy New Year, Steve. And uh, it's Dave Timms on hold here. Started out as an air show announcer. Had a lot of fun doing that with some very important people. Flew. Piper Cubs, Tiger Moths, Warriors. What do you do when you get to be 80 years of age? You go over and you sit down in front of your computer and you fly 
Flight Simulator 2020. Now with about 125 hours, I've had a happy 2020. All the best to you. I had high hopes for 2020. I stayed close to home, did what I could, got some good flying in. The annual was a disaster. Hey Flight Chops, this is supposed to be my year. <laughs> I got engaged, I moved on to a regional airline job, I was expecting to get upgraded in maybe a year and a half, two years. Well, here I am in my beautiful crash pad in Newark, New Jersey, and I'm sitting reserve, sitting around waiting to be called. Still better than nothing, I guess. What I started doing, I, I found myself volunteering at uh, this local club here, Aviators Flight Training, and I'm just spending my free time I can working on these planes and uh, you know I'm following your footsteps here got my tail wheel got my high performance Hi Steve and everybody at Flight Chops 2020 was my year to get into microlight flying at the age of 50 I finally was ready to do it but I had to wait five months to get that first flight but having had that first flight I was absolutely hooked and I'm now doing my microlight license although we're now locked down again, so I'm really hoping that 2021 will bring much better options for flying. After a long time being a pilot, I finally decided to become a commercial pilot and 2020 was the year I was going to do that. I wrote my written test in March and then everything shut down. Um, the only thing I would say to people is that sometimes things like this happen and this year was that year that it all happened. Um, but I just kept flying, I just kept studying and eventually I got in the plane with the instructor, kept going and I passed my commercial. So keep flying, keep studying, keep your head in it and you'll get through the struggle. Promise. Hello from Seattle. My name is Ryan, and I think I've, I've always been into aviation. I think I've wanted to be a pilot since I was about five, but I'm a procrastinator and I'm in school, so I never really got to it. That was until March of 2020 when my whole schedule opened up, and then I bought Sporty's Ground School. I, um, I passed out in a few months, and now I'm flying 172s and I'm good, probably gonna solo on my 16th birthday in April. Thank you. Hey Flight Chops, my name is Maz, and this was what I was able to accomplish this year in aviation. Unfortunately, back in January, I had to stop my private pilot training because of anxiety and vertigo, but back in September, I was able to pick up an apprenticeship as an aircraft mechanic, and I'm now working towards my A&P certificate. I've been enjoying the RV-14 builds, and it's a lot of fun learning about the aircraft structures and all what goes into an airplane. Here's hoping to a better 2021 for all of us. Hi Steve from The Flying Reporter, spending Christmas and New Year in another COVID lockdown. But we're not giving up, grasping every opportunity we get. Aviators have kept the dream alive online. Our flying instructors have adapted to new rules. We've fallen back in love with virtual flying. And during brief interludes of freedom, inspired by you Steve, I've learned to fly tailwheel and even begun my journey towards mastering the Harvard. Happy New Year to you and all of your followers. Hey Steve, I was planning on getting my instrument rating this year. Didn't quite get there, but I did make great strides towards it. I've passed the written exam, and if I do it right, I'm less than 20 flight hours away from my instrument check ride. Aside from that, I've been coping with this crazy year by social distancing in my little Cessna 150, flying some of my radio controlled jets, spending lots of quality time with my wife and our dog, and getting back into building plastic models, which I haven't done since elementary school. Looking forward to a better year in 2021, and looking forward to that RV of yours coming together. Well, 2020 certainly wasn't what we expected, but there's a silver lining for some people. I certainly appreciate that all of my favorite flight instructors came back from the airlines and I got to fly with them again. 
And so I'm working on my CPL and my instructor's rating. And I got signed off for my tailwheel solo just before Christmas. So I had, I had an okay year. The weather, the virus, and national lockdowns have very much reduced the flying here in the UK. But I did manage to maintain my weekly flying uploads. So it has to be fingers crossed for a happy, healthy, and airborne 2021. <laughs>
Hey Steve, that RV of yours is looking really fantastic. I can't wait to see it when it's uh, all done. I just wanted to say that this year I was able to make uh, lemonade out of lemons and I was able to get my uh, private pilot this year, which I'm super stoked about. Uh, and for the rest of the year, I was able to build up a bunch of time towards my instrument rating. So enjoy the pictures from Colorado. Have a good one. Hey Steve, um, my story for 2020 is I guess mostly just one of being patient and persevering. Um, I was most of the way through my PPL training when COVID really took hold and was grounded for about four months as of last week with um, some extra time and training and money. I'm officially a licensed private pilot. Paige Rudnick here. 2020 was to be a year of big cross-country flights with friends. Instead, I added CFAA to my instructor certificate, as well as a Tailwheel endorsement. Then I got proficient enough at Tailwheel to start handing out endorsements myself. I participated in a flight to honor the WASP, flew a rescue flight for pilots and paws, and married my passions of aviation and photography to get some shots. I made the best of the year, though flying much of it solo. So I look forward to going on trips with my friends again at some point in 2021. 2020 came along and I was uh, trying to get my instructor rating, my IFR, and my multi rating. And I was about a quarter of the way down my instructor and my IFR when COVID shut everything down. So, uh, like a lot of people, that dream has been put on hold. If uh, I ever get done, I'm not sure what the environment's going to be like. But uh, I'm still hopeful. And, you know, 2020 was a crappy year, but uh, I still have my health. My family's all healthy. And uh, so I'll take that. I tried really hard, but it was impossible to fit everyone in. So thanks so much for all your submissions. I did look at every single one and I wanted to end it with this quote, which came as an anonymous text only comment, uh, but it kind of really hit me hard and I thought it was poignant for this difficult year. See you on the flip side and keep your flight chops sharp.